Heard about the internet? Google? Facebook? YouTube? Twitter? It's all anybody does these days. Sit around and surf the web. That's it. And that the internet's gonna kill movies and books and theater and television. And it'll kill magazines too. Guaranteed. Every new technology supposedly has to kill an older technology to make room for itself. Radio is going to kill theater, movies were going to kill radio. TV was going to kill the movies, the VCR was going to kill TV. And the internet was going to kill them all. But that's not how media works. What actually happens is that people find room in their lives for the new medium alongside the media they already love. As long as those media continue to evolve and provide an irreplaceable value. The bloggers and the pundits, of course, don't see it that way. They continue to predict the death of the magazine and any other media to anyone who will listen. But the rumors of our death are, as an old magazine guy once said, greatly exaggerated. Merely myths. That's why some of us in the magazine business, a fairly competitive bunch, decided to join forces and do something about that. We felt it was time to replace the myths with what lies at the core of all great journalism. The facts. There's time to tell our side of the story. The story of magazine's power. The story of magazine's strength and scope and unique cultural impact. The story of magazine's particular relationship with our readers, a bond we share with no other medium. The story, which will come as a surprise to many, of magazine's strength and vitality. We're going to tell the story in the way that we know best, in print. Its telling begins today.